There's something strange happening around you right now. Not outside, not in the sky. Around you, a silent motion your body has never learned to feel. If you could freeze the universe for a single heartbeat, if every star and every planet stopped all at once, you'd notice it instantly. You'd feel the twist in your stomach. Because the truth is unsettling, the universe is spinning beneath you. We're trapped in a motion we can't sense. The ground rotates faster than a hurricane. The sun turns like a slow burning wheel of fire. The Milky Way twists like a wounded animal. Even black holes spin so fast they drag space-time itself into a whirlpool. Everything spins, not most things, not just planets, not just galaxies, everything. And if you're willing to sit with that for a moment, a deeper question starts to crawl in from the edges of the dark. Why does everything in the universe spin? Why is rotation so universal? Here's the fracture in the story, the part that scientists explain with confidence, but feel the unease of when the lights are off. If you strip the universe down to its rules, if you remove the planets and the stars and the galaxies and all the noise life creates, nothing in the laws of physics says the cosmos should be spinning at all. Motion exists? Yes, gravity exists. Expansion exists. But rotation? That shouldn't appear out of nowhere. Something must start the turn. Without that push, clouds of gas should collapse in silence, falling straight inward, forming quiet spheres suspended in the dark. But that never happens. Not once. Not anywhere we've looked. Instead, every time matter tries to collapse, it twists, not gracefully, violently. Dust and molecules and fragments of ancient stars start swirling, stretching into spirals, flattening into disks, forming structures that look like cosmic whirlpools. It happens in nebulae. It happens in star-forming regions. It happens in the birth of planets, in the drift of entire galaxies. The spin appears immediately, instinctively, as if the universe can't help but turn everything into a wheel, as if there's some ancient impulse buried in the dark fabric of space that refuses to let anything sit still. And that's the paradox. If the universe began in a near-perfect, uniform explosion, one that spread matter evenly in every direction, where did the first swirl come from? Why didn't it all fall straight inward? Why did the cosmos choose rotation? as its default shape. This is the first problem, the one that looks simple from far away, but becomes stranger the closer you get. So we reach for the explanation that has carried astrophysics for decades. The idea is elegant, comforting, almost perfect. It tells us that the first swirl wasn't mystical or intentional. It was inevitable. No cloud of gas is ever perfectly uniform. There are always tiny irregularities, little bumps of density floating in the silence, and when gravity tries to pull a cloud inward, those bumps create the smallest hint of motion, a nudge, a breath, the faintest twist. And here's where the universe shows its hidden teeth. Once a system begins to spin, even by a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a turn, that spin can never disappear, not entirely. Not if the system is isolated. It becomes part of the structure forever. This is the conservation of angular momentum, the rule that governs every object you've ever loved, feared, or never noticed. Tug a cloud inward, and it spins faster. Compress it further, and it spins faster still. A collapsing nebula becomes a star surrounded by a disk. The disk becomes planets. The planets keep the original direction of the collapse. The whole system is a frozen picture of an ancient swirl. The solar system spins the way it does, because some patch of gas four and a half billion years ago happened to rotate slightly one way instead of slightly the other. Most stars and planets inherit their spin this way. Even galaxies do. They collapse, twist, flatten, accelerate, becoming massive disks of hundreds of billions of stars moving in slow, majestic spirals. Angular momentum explains a lot. It explains why Earth's day lasts 24 hours. Why Jupiter spins like a storm unchained. Why neutron stars rotate hundreds of times per second. Why black holes drag space-time into a spiral. It explains why the Milky Way looks like a frozen whirlpool. It even explains why the disk of dust 
that formed you and me had to spin before it could become anything at all. It almost sounds like we've solved the mystery. It almost feels like the story is complete, but the universe never gives us answers that clean. And when you look deeper, when you trace the spin all the way back, past galaxies, past stars, past particles, past the primordial gas, past the first fractions of a second of existence, the explanation starts to unravel and a new problem emerges, a darker one, one the universe hides behind the glow of every galaxy. Because conservation of angular momentum explains how the spin continues, but it does not explain how the spin begins. It does not explain why the universe had any angular momentum to conserve in the first place. It does not explain why the first irregularities existed or why collapsing clouds everywhere show the same behavior, the same instinct to twist, the same unavoidable pattern, and it definitely doesn't explain something far more unsettling. Why spin repeats across every scale of reality, including the ones where rotation shouldn't even be physically possible. Particles spin without turning. Galaxies spin too fast for the gravity we can see. Massive structures align their axes across distances so vast they shouldn't even know the others exist. And deep in the early universe, traces in the cosmic microwave background hint at patterns, subtle, controversial, but persistent, suggesting that rotation might be woven into the fabric of the cosmos from the very beginning, not as an accident, but as a feature. So the mystery grows instead of shrinking. The solutions unravel into new questions, and the spin, this simple, familiar motion, becomes a crack in the foundation of our understanding. A whisper that something is missing, something fundamental, something the universe is still hiding. And to resolve this new problem, to understand the origin of all spin, not just in planets or stars, but in matter itself, we have to go deeper into the early darkness, into the physics of the first seconds, into the quiet place where time began, learning how to move. So we're left with a question that feels bigger than anything we started with, a question that slips through equations and hides in the quiet places where physics meets memory. If every spin in the universe is inherited, where did the first one come from? If every rotation is conserved, who or what gave the universe its very first moment of angular momentum? Why did the cosmos begin with a twist instead of a silence? To answer this, we have to step back into the first seconds after the Big Bang, into a universe that wasn't calm or balanced or symmetric the way we imagine it. The early cosmos was a storm, so dense, so hot, so chaotic, that even the smallest quantum fluctuations mattered. Tiny wrinkles in energy, tiny imbalances in direction, tiny twists born from uncertainty itself. They weren't intentional. They weren't designed. They were simply the natural noise of a universe that had never existed before. And then something happened, something violent, something transformative, inflation. The moment when the universe expanded faster than the speed of light, stretching those microscopic quantum jitters across unimaginable distances. Any small twist, any flicker of direction, any uneven push was pulled apart and imprinted onto the very fabric of space. What began as a whisper became a structure. And when gravity finally took over, billions of years later, those stretched out twists grew into swirling nebulae, rotating stars, spinning galaxies, and the endless turning of planets. This is the closest thing we have to an answer. The universe spins because the universe was born imperfect, born uneven, born with just enough asymmetry for gravity to grab that imperfection and stretch it into everything we see today. The spin is not an add-on. It's not decoration. It's a fossil of the beginning, a memory burned into matter before matter even existed. And that's the part that stays with me. Because if everything spins, because the early universe trembled, then you and I are made from that tremble. The atoms in your blood carry quantum spins shaped billions of years before your body learned how to breathe. The world you stand on rotates because a cloud of dust inherited a twist older than the sun. The galaxy above you whirls because inflation stretched a tiny imbalance into a structure large enough to hold a hundred billion stars. 
We are not just living in a spinning universe. We are living inside the echo of its first motion. A motion that never stopped. A motion that became planets and storms and seasons and life. A motion that shaped everything you've ever touched. A motion that will keep going long after the last star fades. And if you listen closely, in the silence between your thoughts, you can almost feel it. The faint pull of that ancient turning. The quiet drift that never lets anything rest. Maybe that's why stillness feels unnatural. Maybe that's why the universe feels alive. Because the first act of creation wasn't expansion. It wasn't light. It was motion. A motion we're still part of. A motion we carry. A motion we'll never escape. And if this journey through the dark made something inside you turn, if it made you feel the quiet spin beneath your own skin, then stay with us out here in the void. Let yourself drift a little deeper. Let the questions pull you back. And if you want to keep traveling through the silence with me, through stories like this one, you can help this world keep spinning by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and staying close as we explore the unknown, one quiet turn at a time.